Isaac Newton, I mean, just look at, you read his writings. Hair stands up on, I don't have hair there, but if I did, it would stand up on the back of my neck. He discovers the laws of optics, figures out that white light is composed of colors. That's kind of freaky right there. If you take your colors of the rainbow, put them back together, you get white light again. That freaked out the artists of the day. <laughs> How does that work? Red, orange, yellow, green, blue, violet gives you white. Uh, the laws of optics, he discovers the laws of motion and the universal law of gravitation. Then a friend of his says, well, why do these orbits of the planets, why are they in the shape of an ellipse, sort of flattened circle? Why aren't they some other shape? And he said, you know, I can't, I don't know. I'll get back to you. So it goes, goes home, comes back a couple months later. Here, here's why. They're actually conic sections, sections of a cone that you cut. And they said, well, how did you find this out? How did you determine this? Well, I had to invent integral and differential calculus to determine this. Then he turned 26. Then he turned 26. We've got people slogging through calculus in college just to learn what it is that Isaac Newton invented on a dare, practically. Now, if I were to go back in time to when humans still existed, I would go back, I, I'd chill with Isaac Newton. Yeah, just to tell him how significant his discoveries were in establishing what we now take for granted as modern civilization, the Industrial Revolution. We used Isaac Newton's laws to get to the moon, his laws of motion and his laws of gravity. I would tell him this.